Hey everyone. Penultimate day of monochromatic. I've actually really enjoyed this, yeah, even though black is such a nightmare to work with. Right, something else I've never tried. A right, This is a piece of card I have cut by, and that's not going to focus because of my light, 6x9. A concertina tag. So I've cut it at 6x9 and then I've just scored it at 3 and at 6. I know... Oh, that works. I know there are other ways of doing this. But I'm into... Um, Today I'm into quick and easy, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> so, the top of my tags, I am going to cut, I hope, a corner off and try and make them reasonably level. Something I failed to do unless I do it this way. So, and then that one ish okay that looks not too bad right so a concertina tag i am going to i think stamp i'm not going to put any paper on or at least that's the idea i have now I can't pronounce this, so there you go. Lucky socks off. Sukineko? I don't know. It's a archival, which means I'm hoping it's waterproof. Oh no, pigment ink. No, that means it won't be. No, okay, that's not waterproof. We have spice marmalade. Rusty Hinge, and the good old Vintage Photo. And then my idea eventually is to do a bit of heat embossing over the top. So I am going to start with stamps. I have a lot of them here. So the, this is an old one, really, really old one, that I decided in my wisdom to take off wooden blocks. And then put that on the top. Mm. It sort of works. So, and then various sort of flower and butterflies. So I think I'm starting with the background. So what are we going to do? I'm going to start with some vintage photo at the back. Now I did have a play. As you can see, with lots of different colours. So that was white, that was spice marmalade, and actually that was vintage photo. So I haven't tried the rusty hinge. <clears throat> Do you know what? Let's go with rusty hinge. Oh wow. Come on. In a maybe I cannot be bothered type of way, really. Oh, my old shot. Yes. All right, let's move some of these out of the way. I'm just going to. Now I've got. Sorry. I've got some stamps here, some really old sort of rubber type things, which I want to put down the edge. So I want to try and keep that piece reasonably clear. Um, where are we going? There. Okay. Is that? Hmm. Do you know what? Let's go for a different colour. That's okay, but it's not brilliant. Spice marmalade. The idea is to try and sort of build a picture up. 
that's what I was thinking anyway. And I'm, I can see where I've got the lines on that one, so I'm desperately trying to avoid lines on this one. And then I need, sorry about this, very disorganised. So maybe one there, a bit further down. Oh, that shows up better. You see the difference? Although that's quite nice, it's just, yeah, it's okay. And then maybe just, no, too much of a good thing. Let's get rid of that one. I quite like that. I was thinking that would be quite nice over the top. But it depends what I'm going to put down the bottom. So do you know what? We're going to go for that one in the middle. So rusty hinge again. Trouble we using distress inks is they can get a bit messy. Okay, let's try that. I am trying to keep them inside, although saying that it probably wouldn't hurt if it went out. I'm looking at my little camera and I'm really hoping it's still going to be, the picture's still going to be there when the... Yep, that works. No, I'm not going to use that anywhere else. <clears throat> okay. So, what else do we have? Hmm, choices. Actually, I quite like that one going off the edge. Okay. Let's try a bigger one. <coughs> so my thought process was, if there's such a thing, is that I'm going to do some in, in this colour and then progress Okay, that really isn't working. Then progress to white and then put the final bits in with um, some gold embossing powder, which I haven't actually used on the black yet. That's really not picking up the ink. All right. Let's see if that works. Let's put this side. My own camera. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I could put some down there. Fill the gap nicely, I think. Oh, it almost looks Japanese. I'm going to use this one again. I remember my mum having a, like a lacquer box, a black sort of wooden box, and it was all lacquered up. And 
lots of bright and colourful stuff on it. And I, I love that as a kid, I have to say. Yeah, I'm liking that. All right. I think I found the stamp. Let's make this one a bit taller. Or maybe not. Right, that's working for me. Okay, that's enough of the orange. I, wanted, I do want to leave quite a bit of this black because I don't. Mm, I'm not. I'm not convinced by everything being stamped, and I'm wondering actually that one might go on there, might not it? Okay, back with the orange. Right now. <laughs> This is where I'm going to scream a lot because it won't have worked. Come on, you can do this. Okay, I've got loads on my fingers, but I don't know if I've got any or enough on the stamp. Oh, you just got to go with the flow. So right, this actually, although it's sticking to my fingers, won't actually stick to a pad. Oh yeah. What do we think? Actually, I'm actually really pleased with that. It's a pity. I didn't know about putting one. Do you know what? I could, couldn't I? And that will finish off the top. Oh, seagulls. I am so looking back. I've still, we've still got four weeks before our holiday. But you know, I can't wait. It's just like, whoa. No, that serves me right for not paying attention. Okay. Let's try and get this one. On there. Yay! Not bad considering I dropped it. And I've got distress ink everywhere. Okay, right, so now we have the basics of our tag. Now these distress inks or these oxide inks do take a while to dry. So I am being very careful with them. I'm hoping the bottom ones will dry. And I want to put a few flowers in, or a few things of white, I'm thinking. So, I'm thinking that one, just to add a bit of touch. Just love it when a plan comes together. Not. And then that one, we can have quite a tall one there, I'm thinking. And then back to a little one there. And we can. See where I haven't quite got it on the bottom. So I'm going to add some more flowers. Let's sort of cover that up a bit. And then 
There. Right, I'm going to have to go and dry these oxide inks off because they're still wet and if I try and heat emboss them now, mine, it might look very pretty with the... Um, it will catch. Most of it's dry. Let's give it a go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right, we have our, our Grotty Versa Mark stamp. We have uh, Princess Gold. I think this is a Ranger one. And then we have So we have these different butterflies. Now, for the front one, I want something of a statement piece, I think. So if we get rid of the flowers and put him on. It's very difficult to tell. I'm sort of hoping that's got that covered. Let's have him flying off into the sunset, shall we? What do we think? Doesn't look too bad. I've noticed I've still got a bit of wet ink on here, so we'll see what happens. Ah. <laughs> Tell where your wet ink is. Oh, actually, I wonder if I was to... Okay, that's that one. I should be using my tray, I suppose, because then I wouldn't need to keep doing that. Okay, I am keeping my temper. Technology is wonderful when it works. I actually went ahead and heat embossed the butterfly, as you can tell. Oh my life, magpies are going mad. So I'm gonna swap them over. So we only need little butterflies in that one. I wonder if one of the cats is outside. That's when they normally start to go mad. Okay, let's go for this little one. They sound like they're almost in the shed with me. No, I think I'm going to put... One there. did bring me a little tray in. Okay, now let's see if 
we can get this one, if I can get the cameras to last. And let's go for that one. I have been on Amazon and I have ordered new batteries. I oh, hate it when it hap that happens. Right, where do we want him? About there. Right, that's going to have a bit of a gap, so I'm going to put one, a little one. Uh, let's go back to that little one. Put him going up there. Actually, while I'm at it, let's have one. Down there, and maybe even one down there. Now I've got to remember where I've put these things there. Uh, up there, up there, and down there, I think. one there. Yeah. Ah, there he is. Get more on that one. I'm quite liking that. I do think perhaps one on that side down there, I'm thinking. Once you start, <laughs> very difficult to stop. Okay, now I am going to give this a blast, so I will be right back in a moment. And there we go. I still reckon that looks almost Chinese. I was debating while I was waiting for cameras to charge about. So if that becomes the front, that then becomes the inside. So I'm thinking I need to make that the front. Let's get it to maybe. Black really does mark. So you open it up and then it becomes a little booklet. Now then, what do we put on the front? Let's put that on. We're going to stamp it. I think we are. But, oh, so much stuff around. I am going to put on this, I think it's a penny black stamp, and I am going to stamp it in white. Is it on the camera? Yes it is. bit of paper back and I am going to put it just slightly off the edges I like that I like 
me. I can't see for looking at the moment. I'm so busy watching. Right. And then let's try. Uh, that looks reasonably well covered. Let's put that. Sorry, I'm going to have to move it closer to me because I can't. Let's see what we got. Hoping that the white has dried and I'm not going to get gold flowers. over there for the moment. That actually hasn't quite... I can see gaps. Right. <clears throat> Another quick blast. I quite like that as the cover. Do tags have covers? Well, it's a kind of tag book. So I suppose it does. And then all that's left is to punch a hole. Maybe. I did wonder about putting the um, ring thing on it. Except I can't find them there. So, oh, there they are. I buried them under all my stuff. But I'm not sure if it's going to look a little odd. Shall we try one? No, I actually don't like that. Okay, let's take that off. If I feel the... Uh, oh! I know what I could use. My um, white gel pen. Just to go round. Sorry, can't talk while I'm doing this. Otherwise, it goes horribly wrong. Oh, I like that. Yep, that shows them up without it being. So there we go. Makes it. Oh, I need to let that dry. So there we have a concertina tag. That is a, a first for me. I have never done one of these before. I'm loving the, the oriental look on that though. That. That is brilliant. And I haven't used any kind of book page or music paper or anything. Right, last day tomorrow. I'm bringing it all together and I will give you um, details of the giveaway of all this lot. Right, you take care now. And hopefully, camera's working. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.